Welcome, the Nibosh HSE Introduction to Incident Investigation Award is quite the mouthful. So what is this qualification and how does it fit in with the other Nibosh qualifications? If you've already got another Nibosh qualification, why would you bother doing that one? What's in it? Why should you do it? Is it for everybody? And more importantly, where should you do it? Well, I'm going to try and answer all of those questions. My name is Will Taylor. I'm the owner and managing director of Compassa. I have been teaching NIBOSH qualifications for about 10 years now. The NIBOSH Incident Investigation Award, it's a level two qualification, which officially, it means that it is below the level of the NIBOSH General Certificate, which you might know is a level three. So two is below three. Four? <laughs> I didn't know you were good at maths, though. <laughs> now, that being said, I kind of disagree with that. I'm loath to disagree with the official level, but it is a very specialised qualification. It's a lot more specialised than the general certificate, because the clue there is in the word general certificate. See, this is not a general qualification. This is a qualification which specializes in incident investigation. And while it is kind of an entry level qualification, it's only an award, it actually has a lot more detail in it than the higher level qualification, the general certificate, because it focuses just on incident investigation and has a ton of information in it, which is just not really covered in the general certificate whatsoever. So it's kind of a specialist qualification. Now, Nibosh say that it's entry level. They say that it is targeted at frontline people, people who might be involved in an incident investigation, a supervisor, team leader, frontline manager, uh, and so on. Maybe a health and safety rep. They actually specifically say that it's not for an established health and safety professional, someone with experience. And yet, and yet, most of the people who've done our online version of the course, the Compassa Nibosh HSC Investigation Award, most of them have been well-experienced, established health and safety professionals, and all of them have gotten a lot from it. You see, in theory, someone who's got the Nibosh diploma wouldn't need to do a qualification of this level. And yet, there's a, there's a big but here. There are actually a lot of health and safety professionals who don't have a lot of experience in incident investigation or who've never done a specialist course in incident investigation. They might have loads of experience. They might have done loads of incident investigations, but they might have done a lot of them very badly. And so having a lot of bad experiences does not make you experienced or competent. You know, I've known, I've known quite a few safety professionals, as you'd expect, and I won't name any names or anything like that, but I remember one character used to be a bit of a bully in, uh, in witness interviews. So who's your chief, little engine? This character used to accuse people of being a liar. He used to say things like, to be clear, if I catch you lying, I will assume that everything you say is a lie. And I remember the same character was once, he was bragging, he was boasting about how he would catch people out in an interview. And then he would tell them, right, son, I think you need to go have a long, hard think about what you're going to say next. And then he would send them out of the room to have a long think. Right, now these types of behaviors, they look fantastic in TV shows, they're great. They might be useful in some situations. I mean, I don't wish to criticize my peers, um, but generally speaking, they're, they're poor form. They are counterproductive in, in witness interviews and incident investigations because you, you tend to just shut people down. And, and this is the kind of thing that the Nibosh incident investigation course gets into. It starts off with basics. It starts off with like beginner level stuff. Like why do we investigate, the legal requirements around investigating, consequences of incidents, you know, why we do near misses, that kind of thing, basic stuff. But then it gets on to the more advanced things, more advanced things which, which are accessible to team leaders and supervisors, but are advanced enough for the established safety professionals. So it gets into things like human factors. Now we cover human factors on the general certificate, but it's quite a theoretical abstract topic, like a lot of safety people do not really get human factors as well as they should. So it gets into that. And then it gets into more advanced things like the steps to incident investigation and how to do a good 
root cause analysis using something like the five whys technique. And it covers loads of different examples of five whys analyses. And then finally, it gets into interview technique and the correct way of interviewing people following an established, recognized interview model. And it goes into things like all the barriers to good interviews, how you overcome the barriers, how you handle bias, how you handle liars and people who can't remember stuff. So it gets into some very, very advanced things. So in my personal opinion, I believe this is a qualification which is fantastic for both team leaders and supervisors who wanna get a formal qualification in incident investigation, but it's advanced enough for the experienced health and safety professionals who also want to get a formal qualification in this. The cool thing with this qualification is that it is completely transferable to all industries. Doesn't matter whether you're in offices, financial services, industry, factories, construction, we all have incidents, and so no matter your industry, this qualification would be useful to you. Great to add onto your CV. Now, where should you do it? Well, you have to decide which course providers use. You can either do a classroom course or an online course, whichever. We at Compassa, we have an online version. It's probably our best course to date. It is the most fun and the most interactive. And you will, if you do it for us, you will do a real investigation online. We'll have you in our simulator, in a virtual reality environment. You'll have an accident scene. You'll have evidence to collect and you'll even go through a series of witness interviews where you take control of the interview, you get to choose the questions, you get to choose how to react, how to handle the interviewee, and our simulator, well, if you, if you make the right choices, you'll do a great interview and you'll get a good statement. If you don't do a very good interview, you won't get a very good statement. So you, ha you are completely in control of the investigation using the latest interactive video technology. It really does have to be seen to be believed. And the way we teach this online, it's so interactive, you couldn't possibly do it in a classroom the way we do it. Not unless you've got access to half a dozen actors and a whole accident scene. Anyway, if you're interested in doing our version of the course, please go to our website. The link is right here. If you haven't already done the Nibosh General Certificate and you're thinking of what Nibosh qualifications should I do? Well, I tell you what, I think you should sign up for the Nibosh General Certificate and also the Investigation Certificate as well. We've got a great bundle called the Health and Safety Career Starter Pack. Again, here's a link, go check that out. We bundle a lot of courses together, everything you need to get your health and safety career started. If you've got any questions about this, please ask in the comment section below and looking forward to see you on the course soon.